your strength, supply unto us your grace. Give us the privilege of access to your presence. Give us the privilege of access to your wisdom. Give us the privilege of access to your mysteries. That our life be changed, our life be transformed. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Can we take that song? You are good. instrument I don't know somehow you people are not always I saw you mad correcting you again and again and again won't flow like that no we can do this without sound but if you want to do with sound we should ensure the sound does not disalign us you are good you are kind I have never seen your time I'm devoted to your praise And forever to your name You are good, you are good You are kind I have never seen your time I'm devoted to
the reason why we sing sounds the reason why we minister to the lord the reason why we sing some worship songs is simply because we actually tend to gain ascendancy any man that does not know how to minister to the lord will never be able to transport himself in the spirit we must understand that there is a need for us to understand the song of the bride and the song of the bridegroom there are times when we come to minister to the congregation for the congregation to be blessed but there are times when we we sing sounds and songs so that we can join a procession in heaven anytime you sing a song not because of people but you are singing it because of the lord you are actually ministering to the lord knowing fully whether as you minister to the lord you'll be ministered to administration has switched from educating people's mind to spirit administration and anytime you cannot administer spirit to people the best you can be is a theologian which is good but you will make the head of people so bogus and the challenge is this they will know too many things and they will lack the understanding and the way to do on how to engage the things they know because the software that required to regulate the life of a believer actually lies in his spirit and every knowledge is supposed to find expression from the mind to then to the spirit the spirit can gain access so that man don't not just only become a living soul but a living spirit because man can only be relevant in the earth system and bear impact upon the face of the earth and heaven the day he becomes a living spirit one of the greatest challenge of god is to bring us to a point where he engineer us to become a living spirit the first adam was a disadvantage so god had to restructure the second adam to a point where he can become a prototype that can be mass produced upon the face of the earth and the prototype of the second adam is what we call a life giving spirit and until you come to that point when you become a life giving spirit as a living soul you are challenged because one of your greatest disadvantages is that your soul is a the bible said that the first adam was a living soul it was a man that the entire of his compartment man is spirit soul and body but him the definition of who he was was that his soul was stronger than his spirit and that his body so was actually a spirit being but having more of the reality of his soul finding expression so that is why although god gave him a command but his spirit was not engineered enough to subscribe to the will of god so he found himself aligning more to everything that looked like soul shall be this is the same reason why people god can speak to you today and yet the devil can come and suggest it and you align to what the devil is saying it's because you have not yet come to a point where you are eating spirit that has now begin to give life because when you become a living spirit you actually be able to give life our challenge is that our soul is alive and until god deal with our soul we can never align to god and one of the greatest is that your soul is actually the center for your thinking for your will for everything you think you know that is survive upon the earth system so everything mankind do upon the face of the earth he does it by the education of his soul that comes from the impartation of knowledge that passed through his mind so the mindset and the cultural patterns upon the life of a believer is an evidence of the transformation of his soul but it's possible for a man to be living in soul and yet death in his spirit that's why the bible is speaking about the galatian church he said all oh, you foolish galatians how comes you began in the spirit and you ended in the flesh it is possible that god impart upon you the reality of spirit you came into an atmosphere such as this you receive impartations you minister to the lord the lord download himself upon you but as we live up come more a living soul than a living spirit and because you are a living soul what will happen is that the compartment that regulates your life will be so much of soulish activity and the bible said that the soul 
the soul that you see is actually what is supposed to be judged but what educates the soul is actually the knowledge you receive which comes and has the ability to enslave you as a believer the strength of the flesh is in how much more the soul is colonized the strength of how much the devil utilizes men how much more he utilizes their soul everything you see most of these hindu people did most of these shaman guys do magicians do do you know even witchcraft and occultism work in the realm of the soul the spirit of a man has the ability to always align to god the bible said the spirit is always willing it is the flesh that is weak the strength of the flesh is actually in the soul an untransformed soul is the access the devil have that's what the bible said the soul that sin it shall die why because your spirit cannot sin it is your soul that will do that so what the believer need to do is to come to a point where he's living in his spirit and dead in his soul that is why anytime you come and give your life to christ what you actually do is that you decide to die in your soul that you may live in your spirit strings So Adam was still in process. God put his spirit upon him. But Adam has not come to learn how to actually align to the spirit of God to walk as God. Because the strength of his soul was still much. So God was still on a process to ensure that Adam came to that point of maturity. Because a true son is one who is dead in his soul and in his flesh and is living in his spirit. sons sonship highest level of maturity you can ever have in the kingdom but for you to come to the point of sonship sir you must be dead in your soul you must be a living spirit jesus christ as you see him as highest as he can be the bible called him a son of god and a son of man all the time he was still alive in his soul he was still referred to as the son of man because hey you choose to be alive in your soul you become the son of god he was a son of man after the order of david from the root where which he was born but he was the son of god after the order of the bena elohim yes you are the son of man but you are the son of god everything about your life will begin to change the day you begin to understand the definition of who you are in the mirror image of who god is because from the very beginning it's not your parents that decide that they should create you the bible says let us make man let us make man in our image in our likeness that they may look like us and function like us but the definition of man that painted was truncated from the garden of eden so god had to begin another new creation again but now in this new creation he was not interested in, a, in bringing a man at a soul he was interested in regenerating men that were born of mortal men to become cause of the face of the head because god created and men were soul that were alive so god had to take away the soulless component so he began to give birth to spirit upon the face of the earth see god was successful in bringing men to a point where they can understand their definition as spirit upon the face of the earth men are limited and god himself is limited every advantage you have in the flesh will fail every the educational patterns the cultural background the societal mindset all of them will fail you the only thing that can make you survive is the reality of God locked up in your spirit. Every man that does one place things in this kingdom and that excel in life is a man that has actually invested in his spirit. The soul with knowledge, the flesh, and your body may be needing food, but the spirit requires God. Say until you eat of me and drink of me, you have no part in me. It is a mystery of communion. 
It is a mystery of oneness. How that men that join themselves with God become like God. Every man that is strong in his soul is a man that has not yet joined himself with God. The challenge of Adam was that Adam came out from God but he did not enter into God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Adam came out of God. Out of God, rebellion came out. Out of God, animal came out. out God, the devil was born. Out of God, everything was created out of God. But not everything had the privilege to enter inside of God. Your advantage is that you can come in through of God. You can come inside God. So Jesus Christ said, I and the Father are one. Why? Because the Father dwelt in me. And the Holy Spirit saw me as the vessel can dwell. The Holy Ghost can never dwell upon this. Yes, God created this. God created many things. But it's not everything that can carry God. The advantage of the second Adam in his privilege as a life-giving spirit to carry God. Adam could not carry God. God was coming to him. God was dwelling around him. But God was not inside of him. The true definition of a son is one. When God has seen him worthy enough, not just to walk through him, not just to do things by him, but to be able to host him. I can anoint this chair now. This chair can heal sick. This chair can cast out devils. I can anoint this now. I have got a place. I just sat down in a chair. And I said, anybody that sat on this chair is healed. People sat down, they are falling under the anointing. There's nothing about the chair. It's just because out of the overflow of the presence of God, this chair came anointed. But this chair can only be anointed maybe after five minutes. A smoker can come and sit here and see smoke. Why? Because the chair cannot host God. Adam was an evidence of a man that actually saw God but did not carry God. The children of Israel actually saw the Lord. They saw him. But they could not host him. So when the Lord appeared, they said, No, we don't have the capacity to hold you. We don't speak only to Moses. Because they were not the sons of God. They were actually the children of Israel. They were children of God. The Bible said the children of Israel did this. They did that. They did this trick very well. Who did what they did? They didn't do anything. None of the children of Israel did anything. It was only a Benai Elohim. One who oh. When you take away Moses in the scene, the children of Israel are nothing. Nothing. Why? Because they could not carry God. All of them were stoned that were alive. Living soul. Living soul. Their challenge was that they were so alive in their soul and they were dead in their spirit. So the only one that knew to actually gain life in the spirit. Life in the spirit. So he ascended the mountain top. He mounted onto Mount Moriah. He went into Mount Sinai. What he was trying to do was to prepare himself for God to carry him. And for him to carry God. So immediately when the Lord appeared, he was able to actually come to a point where he can host God. That was why Moses became like a God. He said, A God. A God. Not to fail. Why? Because the Bible says he called us God. He called the God of whom the word of the Lord came. And the scriptures cannot be broken. The word of the Lord did not come to Adam. Adam had God. But the word of the Lord did not come to him. You, the word of the Lord came to you. He said, The, the word I speak unto you, their spirit and their life. They have the ability to give you spirit and also give you life. It's not good enough to have life. You need to have what? Spirit. God is spirit. Every reality of God is spirit. Until a man contain the spirit of God, he is disadvantaged at every level. You may be born of God, you will actually be able to lose God. Do you know Moses dwelt with God for a very long time? The best that could happen to him was that his face grew. They saw God in his face, they couldn't see God inside of him. His soul was more alive. God could not dwell inside. So when he came out from the mountain top, he stayed for 40 days, yet he was that angry enough and he broke the commandment. The fruit of the spirit could not be walked into him. Why? Because the spirit was not inside of him. The Bible said the spirit of God come upon Moses. The challenge was he was a mighty man, but he was a living soul. This is how many people in China, many people in India, 
can fly on air yet they don't know God is your soul where is your soul now do you know all you know about yourself is your body the reality of your soul is strong as you sat in your room suddenly and you begin to move from one region to another do you know the power of your soul the latent power of the soul how that the soul has an edge all the intelligence of academics technocrats all the strength of atomic bombs all the scientific invention was actually a product of a soul a knowledge that came from the soul to them that dare enough became dead in the soul and they became sons of petitions then their spirit began to live after the order of darkness and this one the devil perverted them and from that hell they were able to bring out certain things and now they can do peace upon the face of the earth how much more a man that is divinely aligned to God and is dead in his soul and more alive in his spirit do you know that everything that happened to Jesus Christ was so that he can die die in his flesh die in his soul then be alive in his spirit that was why when he resurrected he was more in life in his spirit because when Jesus Christ was upon the face of the earth the best he can be is to be around us he can never enter inside anyone why? he was a living soul and as a living soul God can come upon you once upon a time he will do some wonders he will leave you again he can come again he will do some wonders he will leave you again many people today are still doing the wonders of God they don't know that because God uses you doesn't mean that you can carry God God can use anything in the Bible, chicken we are anointed. Gold we are anointed. How can she be anointed? So what happened to those now? Those chicken we are used for Christmas. No matter how anointed they were, later on they were used for Christmas service. They were slaughtered. But the man that carried God does not die. Does not die. No son die. A true son give up the ghost. Because his ghost has become a spirit. Do you know that anytime the Holy Spirit is not inside of a believer, far to as a Holy Ghost, check out through scripture. Anytime the Spirit leaves heaven and is hovering around, is referred to as a ghost. Why? Because ghost will make you scared. God is to be revered. God is to be feared. That's why anytime a man that does not have capacity in his spirit, see God, he run away. The way you are, there are certain angels that if you appear here, some of you will break this wall and go out. Why? Everything about spirit is like a ghost. And that was why when John saw the revelation of who God is in the book of Revelation, he was amazed. How can a man carry this level of excellence? How can a man have horns? How can a man have eyes all around? How can a man have this day? He begin to see dimensions of living creatures. And all of this is still one man again. He was a lamb. He was, he was an eagle. So when he was seeing him, later now he fly. Later now he begin to walk like an horse. You see, the reality of the spirit are not things you can define. They have to define you. Because you don't know that. You only know what they taught you in Bible school. How does the devil have long tail? And God, Jesus Christ is wide. God is spirit. Jesus Christ appeared to me. I knew not how he looked like. Why? Because he's spirit. Anything he chooses to be like he will be. Something will appear to you like yourself. Because the Bible says, as we behold him, like in the mirror in the glass, we are transformed into that same image from glory to glory. So as you remain and become a living spirit, a time comes to become the Christ. When you become one with the Christ, at that time the cry of God is satisfied that this is my beloved son upon whom I am well pleased. We have come unto a convergence. We have come upon a cloud, upon a crown in the spirit. As I'm talking to you right now, we are in high levels in the spirit. I don't have time. I want us to cry. Tomorrow, I will give you an understanding to who a true son is. I just told you what a true son is a prophet. There are about five of that. You need to know who you are as a son. Don't just say you are a son. Every irresponsible son is cast away. Sons bring pleasure to the father. Sons bring pleasure to the father. Can we cry in the next three minutes?
in the next four minutes. And so it's gone. Join me among your come. Join me among your army. We have come back again. As sons of an Ayo Hill. Let our voice be heard. Let our voice be heard. Lord Ajalabu. Lord Nasya. Lord Nasawasi. Lord Nigeria. Lord Africa. Yes. Father, the truth us among the numbers. Number us among the army. Number us among the army. Number us. Number us. I refuse to die a better day. I refuse to die cheaply. I refuse, I refuse. I must be numbered. I must be numbered. I must be numbered. I Right now, many of you have been ordained right now. As I'm talking to you right now, by the power of the Spirit, Father, as part of the council of heaven, as part of the two sons, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom I am and in whom I stand, I search your spirit. I call you higher. I elevate you. I elevate you. I summon your spirit. I promote you in the spirit. I have another rank upon you. Make a general can make another one a general. Help her. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Lord come upon you mighty, mighty. Father, in the name of Jesus, if you have horses, bring them to the front. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone you are numbering among to be part of the songs, part of the letters, letters of covenant, letters of altars, letters of incense, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as I stretch my hands, let the power of the Lord come upon you right now, strongly. One, two, Three, in the name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus, take it in the name of Jesus, but I have better of power, in our tribe in the spirit, help them all and bring them to the front, power is real, wisdom is real, revelation is real, authority is real, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I saw an angel with a jar of oil. I saw an angel. I hear in the spirit. Promotion of the sonship is done by anointing with oil. He said with an oil. He said, I have found David my servant. David my servant. I have found him. And with my only oil have I anointed him. He said, ask of me. And I will give the nations and the king and the king of my inheritance. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is that maybe you are anointed? Let that guy bring them out. Bring them out. The heart of the Lord is coming upon you strongly. I see an angel of the Lord with a sword, with a sword, a sword, fire, leaping in fire. Two times will begin to read the sword of the Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, let the fire burn, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn, bring them out, the heart of the Lord is coming upon the fire right now, the Lord is ordaining you to be part of the new space, from today, the encounters will shift, I shift you in the spirit, I shift you in the spirit, I shift you in the spirit, Jesus, the Lord is upgrading you. It's an upgrade, an upgrade, an upgrade, an upgrade, an upgrade. A new place is released. The anointing is still coming upon you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are the prophets. We are the prophets. The prophet of the last days. The prophet of the last days. The prophet. The prophet. I speak right now. The power of God is coming upon you. The prophet of the last days. The prophet of the last days. Right now. An anointing. An anointing in the name of Jesus. Take it now. One. Two. I see three people. Three people. A prophetic place. Help her make the back there. Help her. Help her. A prophetic place come upon you. I stand as a Benayelo. I speak to you as an emperor of the spirit. 
I call you higher. I activate you. I activate you. Your eyes is open to see. Your ears are open to hear. From today, from today, from today, from today, Jesus. Why will things happen in your family that you will not know? From today, you can never know your heart. You can never know your heart. I call that scatter. Oh my God, I see an angel of believers, an angel of believers, an angel of believers right now, an angel of believers, that angel is coming to help you, break the red yoke of bondage, Father, as I pray for my heart, in the name of Jesus Christ of Master, may chains be broken, may chains be broken, may chains be broken, in the name of Jesus. I break that chain. I break that chain. You are believing that. Out of her. Out of her in the name of Jesus. I am Philip Cephas. I belong to the Lord. I stand with the Lord. There is no principality to hear. Apart from Jesus Christ, I am one. I am one. I am one. I see an angel of transport. An angel of transport. This angel take people. Transport people in the spirit. We are going to begin to begin with visions. Visions, visions. Right now in the heart. Visions. We are going to begin to see. Your eyes will be able to see. Father, in the name of Jesus. Where are these people? Where are they? Number them. Number them. Number them. Baba, I God. I call to you tonight. I The hand of the Lord is coming upon someone in the heart. The Holy Spirit is baptizing someone with his fire. I see like clothing from the fire. Clothing from the fire. You are on my life. Holy Spirit, you are on my life. Today, you are on my life. Holy Spirit, you are on my life. Today, you are on my life. That may be right. That may be right. An angel is touching you. Yes. Yes. Father has touched on my hand. Yes, you young lady. Yes, I am not to upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody type the order there. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Lord touch you. Right now. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. One, two, three. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Mightily, mightily, mightily. Mightily, mightily. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Baba, I cry. I cry to you tonight. Feeling that I cry you. That you have me tonight. Feeling that I cry you. That you have me tonight. Baba, I cry. That you always pray you with me tonight. Bye-bye, cry. That you was 
watchmen tonight. Have I fire and lose my watchmen tonight? Have I cry? I cry to you tonight. Holy Spirit, I cry. I cry to you tonight. It's a fast cry that you have been tonight. Oh, feelings are fast cry that you have been tonight. Baba, I cry that you are son and dead man tonight. Oh, this feeling I cry. My two songs tonight. We need to pass by you. That is my torment tonight. We need to pass by you. That is my two songs tonight. Baba, I cry. I cry to you tonight. Holy Spirit, I cry. Tonight, we feel it's a fast cry. That you have it tonight. You are my life, Holy Spirit. You are my life. You are my life, Holy Spirit. You are my life. You are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. To do, not deny. Yeah, we have the truth. You are the truth. You are forever. Not deny. Yeah, we have the truth. Men of God, can you pray for that? In the next five minutes, we should be out of here. Everyone sensing the grace at the power of the Lord, come to the front, we will pray for Tomorrow is going to be the baptism night. I don't have the grace now. I have another meeting in Chapel of Grace in the morning tomorrow. I need to save my strength for that. But tomorrow before I get done and travel for the meeting in Abuja, that will be baptism. For this night, let's do the preliminary. David, come with that person. Come with that person. Where's the person you have to pray for? Oh, the Lord is already doing his work. When you come into sonship, God does things you do not even ask him. I don't need to lay hands on you. Power is an availability given to songs. We don't beg for it. It's not a prayer point. I will never pray for power. I just enlarge my capacity. I can roast God. I can carry God. When I say do this, you do it. Have a letter from the skin at heart. Yes. Have a letter from my Kuba. My Kuba. My Kuba. Have a letter from my Kuba. My Kuba. My Kuba. Yes. Lord bless you. Lord bless you. Lord bless you. Lord bless you. Father God, which you have to be completed. I am Philip Sebas, I stand in the door. There are no two principalities here. There is only Jesus. After Jesus, I am next. Or you can decide to say after Jesus, you are next. 
Jesus Christ has prayed for your deliverance. He has prayed for your healing. He has prayed by his stripes you are healed. Every spirit upon you, every darkness, every potent power. In the name of Jesus Christ, who I am and in whom I stand. Every spirit that is causing this right now, by the power upon the cross of by the power upon the finished work of Christ, out of our now, 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 out of our now. As long as you choose to remain there, I commend you. I oppress you. I suppress you. You know me. Such in the spirit. I am for the suffers. You have nothing against me. I stand with the Lord. I demand a liberty. I demand a freedom. I am a son of God. Out, out of her. Out of her now. As long as you choose to remain there, I commend you. I oppress you. I commend 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 you. Out of her. You are free. You are free. In the name of Jesus, you are free. In the name of Jesus, you are free. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every spirit of bondage, every spirit of oppression, I set her free. I set her free. I set her free. Right now. Right now. I break your rule. You saw about the Son of Man set me free indeed. The tree that overcome the world, even our faith. The devil is not as strong as you claim to be. The devil is as powerful, as weak as you are. The day you become strong in God, the devil will be I gotta believe more songs, more prophets, more apostles, more prophets, more apostles. More prophets, more apostles, more daughters of covenant, more daughters of incest, more women of power, more women of Christ. I gotta believe people that can win the sword. People that can win the sword. People that can say, Thus far shall thou go, devil, and no more father. Let us to put it in our family be over. Hey, our time is gone. We don't have time. As I look at you, as I look at you, I saw you elevated in the spirit. I saw you taking in the spirit, and I saw the Lord actually give an ordinance to one of his angels to hold you by hands. And begin to travel with you through different territories in the spirit. And the Lord said that right now is coming a new season for you. Where the Lord God Himself will hold you by the hand and will begin to journey with you into the real definition of your calling and your nation. So what I saw in the spirit, I saw that angel taking you into timelines of prophecy, into timelines of operations. I saw that angel taking you into books as course regarding your life and the angel is helping you to act those calls upon the earth and the Lord said that we have come to converse yet to choose again I told you many are called few are choosing even the called need to be chosen by God and the Lord said that right now a voice is coming from the throne of God to ensure that your voice is giving you rank and authority spirit so that your proclamation, your utterances, may carry strength and power. I'm going to begin to see increase and heightened level of manifestations and operations of the spirit into your life strongly. I saw the Lord giving you a new sound. I saw the Lord giving you a new sound. The Lord is introducing you the areas of sounds. The cherubims of glory 
that survive and carry the mysteries of the diversities of the sounds of God that creates, that the author, that creates when the destiny of man. The Lord is introducing you to these mysterious children beings that they can fine-tune you and repeat you so that a new sound hidden within you can come alive again. The Lord says you shall be the new voices that will carry the sounds of the Lord all through nations and tribes and children, says the Lord of all. The Lord of God said, As Joseph, so shall you be a believer. You shall be a system of recovery. You shall be a system of preservation. In a land and in a tribe and in a generation, says the Lord of hosts. David, I see a promotion coming for you in the spirit. I see a heightened level of promotion coming for you in the spirit. Peter Paul, have you functioned in dimensions in God? Right now you are changing levels and layers in the spirit. That you may begin to enter into another phase that come with another download, another wisdom, another understanding. That you can be able to contain more of God. Yet again, be given a voice even among the mortals. The Spirit of God say you are recognized in heaven, yet not recognized upon the face of the earth. Said, I have given you a voice among the mortals. Now I will give you a voice among the mortals. The Lord comes to convert souls, but yet again choose men that can bear impact and relevance in times and seasons to come. Hold your hands, the three of you. I see three mantles coming upon you. I see three mantles coming upon the three of you. And the Lord God of heaven, Jehovah Sabu had said that he the man of war that changing the spheres of men, changes kings or their new princes. The Lord God of heaven said, we let again the order, the structure that he may position you align to grant unto you the strength and the power and the fortitude for the work and the journey he has for you ahead. The Lord said, I have called you as a witness, as a son, as an emblem or an oracle, a representative of a mystery and a dimension of our wisdom to give a counsel unto one, to give a, an ordinance unto two, and to give a word unto the three. And the Lord God of heaven said, that right now in this season, we are going to begin to have tremendous encounters with angelic hosts. These angelic hosts are going to be the angels that are assigned for you to walk together with you onto the new realms and dimensions of the spirit that you may go to function. And right now, your words are going to begin to carry power. Because you mind the way you talk, mind the way you speak, your words are going to begin to carry power, says the spirit of the Lord. Young lady, I don't know who you are, but as I look at light around you, and the Lord said, you may be weak, you may be feeble. The Lord said, my mercy and my grace has found you. The Lord said, I will show mercy to whoever I will show mercy to. I will show grace to whoever I show grace unto. He said, unto the mouth of grace, I shortly I will give. Not to them that are weak, unto them will I make strong. The Lord said, with you and through you I will work wonders. It may not look like it and act like you, but I see the Lord God walk with you. Things are changing in your life. God is going to begin to reorder your life again because I see a light and a candle lamp that begin to shine from within you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Michael Baila. Michael Baila. Michael Baila. Michael Baila. Michael Baila. Michael Baila. Where's Elder Philip? Philip. Can you come here? Baba la na mina Michael Baila Michael Baila Michael Baila If you are trusting the Lord for you to come here I saw the angels of answer prayer The angels of answer prayer The Lord God of the new rights here Verdict, verdict are about to change. Verdict. I saw the Lord God of heaven come with his mercy and his power. What he did was that I saw the Lord coming to clean again. It's like rewriting the destiny of people. 
the Lord is changing. He said, No, this one is wrong. This one, I do not write it. This one, he said, We see that speak for a thing. And it come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. I saw the Lord said, We should change things that was not commanded by Him. That I should speak forth. That the things that were not written by Him should be unwritten. So, look again. The Lord will be writing again your prophetic destiny and beating your life again. Ministers, you are going to help me. You are not going to be laying hands on them. Just lay and see. We are under a cloud and atmosphere. The angels are not already touching you. They are already touching you. After tonight, many of you will go back to the party. I see many of you are being oppressed at night. The morning spirit come to torment you. Oppression, sleep with you, do all kinds of nonsense. That nonsense stop this night. Right now, this night, as their hands come upon you, that nonsense is broken. Many men and women, Kobayla, God, my Kobayla, my Kobayla, I'm going to be praying for your main answer. You together with Apostle and the other elders. Everything we are trusting the Lord is over. We can be praying. So but then they cost katapi tata brush katati yatapini katapalatia to shata. Rapapa de cost katapi the tapretes kapadi atapa da katapene atapala to atish kata. Rapapa de cost katipina ata. Rapapa de katapa 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 katapa
partner with Apostle. Success. I will eat and every voice of the Lord here. I decree that you are delivered. Every devil, every demon, every torment, every oppression of the devil over your life is over from tonight. Everything the devil has written over you, I change it. As a son of God, not approved by men, but approved by God. To men, I am not qualified, but to God, a man can be qualified. The Lord appeared to me many years ago. So Philip said first, a man I help is always better than a man that help himself. From that point I know I can't help myself. From that day I know that a man that God help is better than a man that help himself. That cycle of delay marriage is broken. That cycle of marriage is broken. That cycle of poverty is broken. That demonic oppression is broken. That cycle of broken. That addiction is broken. That masturbation is broken. That sickness is broken. You are healed. You are delivered. That pornography is broken. Every works of the flesh is broken. I silence your soul. Let your spirit be active. But today, I grant you encounters. Encounters and dissipation. May you begin to see Jesus. Lord Jesus appear to them. You have appeared to me, appear to them. Help them as you have helped me, help them. Jesus, I know you can help them. No man can help you. Men can fail you. But Jesus can help you. He can help you. Father, it's a cry for help. It's a cry. We cry for you to help us. That insanity is broken. You will not run mad. I break that chain. I break it. I promote you in the spirit. I grant you favor. From this night, from this night, many of you are going to begin to carry the power of God heavily, heavily, heavily. Before tomorrow, after tomorrow, many of you can even raise the dead. We will see. We will do miracles, signs, and wonders. I will not tell you what I have not done. The evidence is clear. Lord bless you and keep you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You can have your seat. Thank you so, so much for sorry I took quite a lot of your time. Not leave the people under anointing for them to just this is the altar of God as long as they are still just leave them. Don't be in a rush. We are done. I need to know that God is doing so much. As we live tonight, we are going to begin to have tremendous encounters and visitations. Tomorrow, in the morning, I'm leaving for, I have a meeting with uh, faculty of agriculture at National State University and the uh, College of Agri-Life here, their final year student. Tomorrow um, is their uh, Thanksgiving and ordination service. Is it Thanksgiving and what? Is the nation they call it? Um, at the chapel. I don't know. Of course, some of you that will be with that we will meet them there. Some of you that cannot make it there. In the evening, the convergence of songs continue. We have you be around and see tomorrow. Hey, very good. We, tomorrow is going to be the grand finale. Invite as many that you can. Let's come and be impacted by the Lord. Trust God that tomorrow I'll be activating your giftings and your potentials. Because it's a waste of time. You cannot do what I'm doing. There will only be one superman. And the day I die, or the day I live and go to heaven, everyone will back. Only I trust God for activation. Also, as many of you that have the time on on 7th, right? On 7th of August, there is a meeting that began in Federal University of Latvia, Shikaina, every first Saturday of the month. It's always an encounter with God. I've had the meeting 
for that campus for a very long time the lord appeared to me many years ago he told me feel himself as youth are the leaders of tomorrow if you cannot get them today you may never get them tomorrow and i realized that when the easy place i can find the youth is in the campus please don't just stop belong to somewhere if you are within Nigeria, here is a very good place for you to come and pray thank you so much for allowing them to pray this is the vision we have we want to have a place where people can pray can just come and pray and just love the lord i know you used to have prayer meetings please ensure you come and be praying if you are in latvia every week we have sbi we meet every week we pray for two two hours saturday every sunday and every friday and we have some retreat we used to do at the mountain anytime you hear prayer yeah, please go fast before they pray before yeah go there and be part of the yeah here is a good place to actually pray yeah please come and pray i think there's a prayer that's going in moria too right moria is it mission and all of this ensure let every place have a place of prayer so on seventh many of you see complain of transport what we're going to do just from here to further university many of you complain of transport maybe we we'll make arrangement for either a bus or a keke that we carry people maybe bring you come when you come your time will be paid to bring you back don't worry okay we will spend our money for you to come and encounter god so that your life will change you will reward us tomorrow you will thank us tomorrow many people believe in us while i went to zadia 2008-9 i met them joshua some and they were still nothing they believed in us they gave us food to eat they cry together with us today they are great but what they did to us has made us who we are today till today may a day never come that will be bigger than my fathers may that day never come fathers are always fathers whether they are good whether they are bad they are still fathers a man that has given you water to drink you can never say he has not given you you can try to write your future without them but you can never write your history without them it's a lie is don't join your mouth and insult them let them be you may see some error in their life you too you will do when you reach their level you make it worse honor fathers only bastard and vagabonds don't honor them he may not be your father he's a father to somebody else this man may not give birth to me but he, but he has given birth to somebody that is older than so he's also my father learn the culture of honor is that okay to the lord bless you the lord stretch you the lord keep you so we we'll see you tomorrow as we pray please come early so that we take our time to pray okay now so and also i always say if you are listening to circular song you are wrong as you go back delete all of them there are many messages i think my message is with israel and what's his name david musa get messages and listen to them Tomorrow, I think we make availability if you can get some. If you can come to Shekinah, you get a lot of them there. You get messages. Be listening. These are the things that will help you to join a tribe in the spirit. When you are listening to Naramali, Naramali will appear to you at night. And you find yourself dancing like him. The Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Words cannot even express. Words cannot express. In one minute, can we stretch our hand towards the apostle of God and begin to pray for his life? And we're going to pray and ask the Lord to increase him. That the grace of God upon his life shall be multiplied in triple fold. Ask that the Lord shall elevate him in greater dimension. Ask that the way the finger of the Lord was upon Moses, so shall the hand of the Lord be upon him. Make decree upon his life that the finger of the Lord shall not depart from him. He's a man of government. Decree.
decree upon his life that grace will be given unto him in greater measure in greater measure so we thank you father thank you holy spirit in jesus mighty name we pray amen so i sincerely appreciate all of you who have made it deem it fits to come here but i want to say something a little i don't just want it to end here i want to see a replication of uh, the book of four after the encounter with jesus never stopped here there was you come i don't know whether you understand me so that you've encountered god you've seen it for yourself also go and invite others tomorrow amen the greatest gift you can ever give to a man is to bring him to the presence of god hallelujah so let there be a massive harvest of what has happened today so that you carry the good news out just as the samaritan woman did it on the web amen and amen and the bible says after she confirmed it she went ahead and broadcast all the news the bible said the entire city an entire city came just a time of just an encounter just an encounter amen amen and amen so please and please i want to encourage maintain and sustain the impact you've received it's very very important the deposit of god's grace or its availability in this in this program is so intense you can you can confirm it for yourself i don't know whether you see but through my vistas what i saw was when he was ministry i was not just seeing apostle talking but i was actually seeing government on display amen and amen he says if you are a son your father will always back you up amen and amen so if actually see the tenacity of god's government in this gathering don't look down on yourself and say i'm too small i'm see this no believe in yourself that god is raising you for a purpose amen and amen and i also when you are praying and through the ministration of the word one of the things the lord was telling me is that that new administration has begun you know the bible says at the day Uzziah died Isaiah saw the vision of the lord the day Uzziah you should you, you may see that he is just a king that is a leadership dethronement and a new leadership begin a new government was taken away and a new government so i see the spirit of the lord saying it's a moment of visitation to this territory just as apostle has confirmed it that the lord is ready more prophet i get go need more prophets need more apostles need more frontiers kingdom functionary that could stand and extend the frontiers of the kingdom so i want to encourage you just believe in what god is doing in your life amen and amen don't look down on your age the bible says paul admonished timothy and said do not look down on yourself and don't allow men to look down on you age doesn't matter age is only a number apostle johnson suleiman will always say we might be classmates we might be we might not be age mate but we are never grace mates amen it's a game of grace amen it's a game of grace i pray that the lord will help us all in jesus name just as you've heard yesterday we spoke that when we were praying we actually saw fire catching over the atmosphere and the spirit of the lord was telling us that there is dethronement amen and amen and the first day of the intercession you saw what happened it was just warfare it was just warfare amen and amen because the lord says that the moment of visitation has come for the time to favor Zion has come the appointed time has come amen and amen this land must surely change this land must surely change i get out we shall see an invasion an apostolic invasion the government of christ must be established as long as we are alive we will never give up never retreat never surrender until the ultimate purpose of god is fulfilled in our life amen and amen and i also want you to stand the doors in prayer in your various places please and please we just need prayers bible says by strength shall no man prevail i get in it so i pray this our prayer that the lord will help us all in jesus name yes and foremost i want to appreciate apostle sir we are really grateful we can't reward you in time but all we can say is that the lord keep you there is nothing we can give you but it is our prayer that the lord preserve you but at least now we are confident that we have a father in the land so that when even warfare come we can run to a father amen and amen 
it was not a purpose that the Lord has kept him. 